Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt over at MilestoneCapitalGrowthPortfolio.com. Today is Thursday, March 20th, and uh, I guess they absorbed all the news yesterday after this big move down. And now we uh, took a nice little shot to the upside. Only concern I have is the volume is very limited. Uh, that's not very good, but it's still going up, and that's all that we need to be concerned about. All right, so it looks like uh, the Dow's going to come up and uh, follow this trend line here and hit his head on the trend line and then uh, make a decision from there. So let's look for a little bit more up uh, for the Dow. Taking a quick look at the SPY. S&P 500, rocking and rolling. All right, as I said yesterday, off the middle Bollinger Band, if this holds and uh, stays true, we're going to probably come up to the upside. But right now, you're sitting at a triple top, so you have a little bit of, a little bit of concern right here. We'll find out what's going to happen tomorrow when tomorrow comes. Uh, if this can't break through this triple top right here, then it's going to, uh, then it's going to drop down and uh, mess with the middle Bollinger Band, or maybe even lower. But a relative strength index is at 55. A rune is heading down, and you know you've had some money coming into it a little bit for uh, the truck and money flow so keep an eye on spy let's take a look at a couple of uh, different things that we're going to look at the biggest percent gainers on uh, the options um, so for the call side we're going to look at uh, S SFUN I'm sorry that was the put side right Yep, it was a put on SFUN, um, and that one went 9,000 percent not too bad I guess uh, this just tanked all day today so SFUN uh, and it broke this 50 day uh, broke this 100 day moving average also after breaking this one here so it has lost complete support right here um, which would next step is going to be this double bottom right here uh, so if this double bottom if this double bottom does not hold intact then we're going to come down to the 200 day moving average relative strength index still has room to head to the downside 46 and uh, your runes heading down and you're chucking money flow so there's money coming out of this right here so uh, watch these options to uh, continue to the downside um, S F U N great gainers you have uh, 8,000, 9,000, 9,000 and 9,000 different strikes so uh, congratulations if you were in that uh, C had nice calls today. Uh, those were up. If you 50 uh, 50 50 strikes, those were up uh, 8,000 percent. Nope, 2,400 percent. 2,400 percent. If you had Citigroup, Citigroup came up uh, and just kept rocking. So from back here, those calls probably doing pretty well. Um, we're at the 200-day moving average after it broke the 50-day moving average, and the 100-day moving average is right in front of that. So if if we break uh, if we break above this, which is very possible. Uh, it really looks good. Um, look for this gap to be filled on C up here at uh, 54. All right, let's uh, look at JP Morgan. So it's the banks. It's the banks. So JP Morgan took off like a rocket today and uh, some huge gains, 1,700, 1,400%, 1,750%. Okay, we'll be alerting these tomorrow morning in the la in the chat room and uh, and coaching through this new system that we're going to use on these options for the largest gainers and tracking those so make sure you uh, stop in uh, WLT was another one that one today was a put winner and that was 1700 percent for the eight dollar strikes um, those things rock and roll this thing fell apart and looks like it's going to be going down a little bit more so uh, keep an eye on this one for the down, a little more downside. Yeah, there's no support back here, so I have no idea where this one's going to be going. So keep an eye on WLT for more down. Um, biggest losers is going to be CMG. Okay, those are the put side. CMG just keeps going up. It will not stop. It'll never stop. Those tacos are good. So the put side's big loss is 100%. Uh, PCLN also, uh, that was on a... Uh, those are pretty flat actually nothing nothing big ADS ADS looks good for more upside um, those puts did very bad today they were down a hundred and something percent um, but ADS really looks like it's gonna head uh, keep heading higher 57 57 uh, 83 on the middle on the Bollinger Bands I mean on the uh, relative strength index so this one looks good chalk and money flows coming into it so ADS looks like it's gonna keep going PCLN also I just want to go back to that real quick this one has all the support right here has this double bottom it's a higher low look for this one to regain this candle so look for this one to come up and test the middle bully uh, 1331 and then uh, if it doesn't break through it it'll probably pull back down again just wanted to revisit that one again but your relative strength index is at 37 so it definitely needs a bounce and your uh, chalk and money flow is at 12 and moving up all right ICPT this one's a mover that's for sure 
Uh, this one bounces all over the place, but uh, she came back down today, broke below the middle Bollinger Band, so keep an eye on this one. The calls did horrible. The puts are really doing well. So keep an eye on this one to come down to the 50-day moving average uh, because it broke. It, it's not holding this up here, and uh, if it breaks under the support level right here, then we have the 50-day moving average sitting here next with this gigantic gap down here. Um, way down here at 70, I think it's 75 or somewhere in that area. So keep an eye on ICPT. Uh, this one's definitely going to come lower. Uh, definitely test the 50-day moving average first, so keep an eye on that one. Another one, WYNN. All right, WYNN. Watch for this one to bounce to the upside um, off this 50-day 50, 50, um, moving average here. It's trying to hold it now, uh, but its relative strength index is, is down at uh, 29, so you know pretty oversold right here, and some money's starting to come back and protect this. So look for the bounce to the middle bully, and, uh, and then dump back off from there. All right, members, we have some great picks to uh, go over for tonight and uh, to keep an eye on for the rest, for, for tomorrow and for the coming days. We're also going to take a look at a few other things that uh, will give us some potential on the options. Uh, tomorrow options, uh, we will be live at uh, 7 a.m. watching the market and we will be tracking the biggest gainers and losers in options and charting those to uh, see how we can position ourselves to make it lucrative. All right, this is Matt over in Milestone Capital Growth Portfolio.com. Join us in chat tomorrow. If you're not a member, become a member. It's well worth it. Have a great night. Uh -huh.